All right, let's talk about functions. What are functions? How do you make functions in JavaScript? And what's the purpose of functions? I have a, a small example code page here where we've got a few variables declared. I've declared some food prices and money that a user has. And then I've done three things here. I've subtracted the cost of a beer from the person's money, then a burger from the person's money, and some pop from the person's money. Each time, I'm logging out the balance on their account. So if I run this, there we go, I get $9, and then $4, and then $1 is the balance remaining in their account. If we change the amounts of these, say I made it 625 and 475, just to give us a little bit more variation, run it again, you can see that I will get different numbers. Okay, so functions. What are functions? When you have a bunch of code that you want to run at the same time, say for example, if I took these two lines of code, if I wanted to run those at the same time, I can bundle them together inside of a function. The function is then going to allow me to run those two lines of code every time I call it. So it's kind of like bundling something together, giving it a label, just like you would a variable, and then you set it aside. Later on in your program, you might need to use those lines of code. So you just call out the name of the function and say, hey, run that code for me. And you can do this again and again. You can call the function repeatedly without having to rewrite the code. So let's say I wanted to call this drink beer or this eat burger function again and again and again. Well, without functions, I'd have to keep adding like this. So there it is again and again and again and again. You can see that if I wanted to repeatedly call this function, I'm going to save that. There we are. If I want to repeatedly call the function, it means I have to keep writing those lines again and again. Functions allow us to reduce the amount of code greatly by bundling together things that should be happening together. Alright, so let's uh, undo, get rid of some of this stuff. Now another thing we could do inside of our function, which we'll get to later, is checking for a balance, making sure that we don't go below zero so the person can only spend so much money. Alright, so let's build a function. So we've got our variables here. We'll leave them outside of the function so they can be shared by all the functions. Uh, we'll talk about this a little bit later. These are known as global variables. And then I'm going to create a function called drink beer. And you'll notice that it looks a lot like a for loop or an if statement. We have the keyword, and then this is the name of our function, the name right here with the brackets, the, uh, the round parentheses here. Uh, we can pass information to the function through here, and then there's a set of curly braces. And everything inside of here will run when we call our function. So let's do the same thing with the other two. Uh, so I'll have a function called eat burger. And another one called drink pop. Or depending where you are in the world, this may be drink soda. Okay, so I save that. Now what I've done is I've created these three little bundles of code that I can call upon at any point. If I run this script, there we go. I didn't get any output. These console log statements didn't run. The reason is they're bundled inside here. They're saved. They're put aside for a later time. If I want to make these run, I have to call the function. That's what it's, that's the term for 
making the function run. It's call the function. So we give the name followed by the parentheses. And you can call them as many times as you like in whatever order you want. So I'll save that. So here I'm calling four functions. I'm calling the drink beer function once, and then I'm calling the drink pop function twice, and then I'm calling the eat burger function once. So if I run this, there we go. I've called it four times. There's the output. I've got four things, but I didn't have to repeat this code twice. I could call this function here, or I can call all these functions that I wanted. There we go. Put all these together, and I'm calling the functions again and again and again without having to repeat all the code that's inside it. And that's a function. In a nutshell, just a bundling together of commands that you want to use again and again at some point in the future without having to repeatedly write the lines of code.